here. So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me for you guys. And I know you guys really like these because I was going to do a regular tutorial, but I figured I might as well do this since you guys prefer to check it ready with me. I do have a couple of new things, not too many, but I do have some things that I want to use that I did mention in our September favorites video that I actually wanted to show you guys how I like to use them on camera. And I'm also going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master by Mario palette. A lot of you guys were asking me about this palette when I posted it on Snapchat. And a lot of people were asking me if I prefer the Mario palette or the Modern Renaissance palette. And to be honest, I prefer the Modern Renaissance palette just because they have more warm tones in this palette. Um, as you can see, and then the Makeup by Mario palette has more cool tones. And he also has a lot more shimmer colors. Um, and I love shimmery colors. You guys know I'm all about shimmery shades. But I feel like I wish he had at least like two more matte shades. Like I could do without the shimmery black color up here, Claudia. Like I could do without that color to be honest, but it is a pretty color. Um, but I feel like that would have been like a pretty color like on its own, not really for like a palette. But it's still a gorgeous palette. And my favorite colors in here are Isabel, Violetta, Fifth Avenue, and Kim, which is up here. So those are my favorite colors in this palette so far. And then the Modern Renaissance palette, y'all know. I use this in my last Chit Chat Get Ready With Me and I'm obsessed with it. This is like my favorite palette at the moment. And I am going to be answering some of you guys' just like random questions through this video. Because I did ask you guys on Twitter and Snapchat um, to ask me questions because I was about to film. Well, I already have on chapstick, but I'm just going to apply some more. Because we are going to be doing matte lips today. I am going to be doing a dramatic look. And I always like to put something on my lips before I apply a matte lip. A lot of people ask how can you make a matte lip feel more comfortable. Put a chapstick or something moisturizing on first. And right before you put it on, just kiss some of it off. And this is just an EOS chapstick that I like to use before I do my makeup. Because I like to use my more like expensive, thicker lip treatments before I go to bed. Because I sleep with that on. And then like chapsticks like this, I just like to use before I put my makeup on. Because I'm just going to kiss it off anyway. So first I'm going to be priming my face. And I'm going to be using this MAC Mineralized Time Check Lotion. And I really, really like this. This is probably like my fourth or fifth time using this. And I heard a lot of great things about this all over YouTube and Instagram. Um, and I do like a pump and a half. And it's known as like filter in a bottle. And it is like silicone based. It is like a, like a thicker texture but not too thick to the point where it's uncomfortable to wear. But it does make my makeup look really, really flawless. So I like that about it. Yeah, it's almost like a balm to me. Because it's not watery but it's not like greasy either. But I do really like it. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation first just because I've been doing my makeup like that lately. I just like to put my foundation on first, then go to my eyeshadow, and then come back to like concealing and powder and all that. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. And Kendra and I did mention this in our September Favorites video. And I love, love, love this foundation. And I'm in the color number 11. And I just like to squirt this all over my face. And then I like to just like smooth it out with a foundation brush like this. And this is just from BH Cosmetics. It doesn't have a number or anything. And then I just like to go in with my beauty blender and then like blend it all out. And the color does look a little bit light when I first put it on. But after I blend it out with my beauty blender, it looks perfect. Okay, now that I look like a crazy person, I'm just going to take my beauty blender that is damp and then I'm going to just blend all of this out because then it just blends in a whole lot better. And the coverage of this foundation is absolutely bomb. Like, I love it. I know I always like to talk to y'all about TV. So what is everyone watching on TV? Because today is Thursday and that means I have to watch How to Get Away with Murder as well as Project Runway. And I'm just going to be priming my eyelids with this... um paint pot in soft ochre yeah but i think that's the only thing that comes on on thursdays well that me and kendra watch anyway because mondays is like fully packed right now because of because of dancing with the stars and the voice and i love 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 that they actually have two female um judges this season on the voice alicia keys and miley cyrus like i'm super happy about that by the way this is a beach cosmetics brush as well most of my brushes are from beach cosmetics elf Morphe and I think that's it. I'm just gonna set um the primer just because whenever I do set my eyeshadow primer the shadow blends a whole lot better. And I'm just using my Laura Mercier powder to set this real quickly. So the first color that I'm gonna be taking is in the 
um, Mario palette and I'm gonna be taking the color Isabel which is right here and it's very similar to burnt orange in um, the Renaissance palette which is also the second color right here and I'm just gonna be taking my favorite blending brush ever and it is the Morphe G17 the inner crease as well as the outer crease but yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was talking about the voice and Dancing with the Stars. Honestly, I'm sure everybody already knows who's probably gonna win Dancing with the Stars, and that's Lori, cause she's like already a little professional. And she has like, um, she's just a natural at it, I think. I honestly feel like it comes too easy to her and it's kinda like unfair to everybody else <laughs> because she's like that good. But um, I do want her to win though. Next, I think I'm just gonna go in the Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take this color on the end, which is Cypress Umber. And I'm just taking like a like dense crease brush from Big Cosmetics, like that. I'm just gonna apply it to my outer crease and bring it all the way in like that. So I'm just gonna go to Twitter first because I usually have a lot on Snapchat. Oh, I feel like everyone always, always asks that question. Where do you see yourself in five years? I really don't know. I never like to say just because I feel like God always laughs when you make plans. So I just see myself happy. Happy and full of joy. Oh, this is a good question. Before marriage, will you and your sister ever live apart? Uh, probably not to be completely, completely honest. Uh, I don't see the point. She's like a built-in roommate. I get to save money. Sounds like a win-win to me. We get along pretty well. We have the same cleaning habits. And um, I just don't think it would be very smart of us not to. But like whenever, whoever gets engaged first, obviously will be the first to move out. And then that person will be living by themselves. But like, like us living separately and both single, I don't think that would ever happen. Um, right now I'm just going in with a elf brush. It doesn't have a name, but it's like a fluffy crease brush. And I'm taking the color Real Gap from the Anastasia um, Renaissance palette. And it's just like a really pretty like red brick orange color. It looks just like red brick by MAC and it's like one of my favorite colors. And I'm just gonna go over that so it's not too harsh. Just like this. And also to warm up the look cause I'm all about a warm look. Do you guys still go for matte foundation in the fall and winter time? Absolutely, I'm just not that girl that really likes to use like uh, like illuminating foundations. It just like does not work for me. I feel like my face is melting off. I'm way too oily for that. So I just prefer not to. Um, if I feel like my face is like dry in the winter time, I just apply extra moisturizer underneath my makeup. So I feel like that usually helps me out some. I'm just spraying some Fix Plus on my lid brush because I'm about to apply my lid color and I think I'm going to be applying the color Kim and it's right here the color that's kind of sloppy because I've used it a few times but it's just like a really pretty like bronzy gold color but it's like a darker gold almost bronze color. I'm just going to tap that on like this. How long do you plan on growing your hair and will you ever cut it shorter or add highlights? Definitely not adding highlights. I just prefer just to keep my hair blue black and that's about it. And we do have a how we dye our hair video up on our channel. It's older but it still applies because we do the same thing. But honestly I just like my hair the length that it is now. Um, Cause my hair is like at the top of my, it's like right at the top of my tailbone. Yeah, it's at my tailbone. So almost, well pretty much almost to my butt, but not quite. It was pretty much at my butt when I straightened it right after um, coming from curly, but I cut like two inches off because my hair was in my crack and I'm not about that life. So I just feel like that's too long to me. Like if you can't do things like go to the bathroom, then your hair is too long. Cause even now when I go to the bathroom, I have to like take all my hair and put it to the side or something. Cause you know. I don't want it to be all in my behind, so. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go to Snapchat and I always get a ton of questions on Snapchat. You guys cooperate very well. Uh, what's your definition of a loyal person? Just somebody that's honest pretty much. Someone who's proven themselves to me. 
Um, cause honestly, I am not that trusting of a person and I go by the motto, your, your, in my book, I just go by the motto of you're guilty until proven innocent, not you're innocent until proven guilty, just because I don't let nothing pass anybody. Cause you just can't trust people and you never know their intentions and I just have to protect myself. Yeah, that's my definition of a loyal person. Someone who's, you know, basically got my back. Even when I'm not there, that's a loyal person. Cause it's easy to me to have someone's back if they're like right next to you. But when, they're, when you're not around them and they act different or they talk about you, then that's a no-go. You don't have to cut them off. Okay, do you listen to music when you get ready? If so, what's your go-to playlist? always listen to music when I get ready. Me and Kendra usually have it blasting and we use like this little speaker right here. Um, obviously I can't listen to music right now because you know, copyright reasons, but I have to listen to music when I get ready. That's why now it's kind of like awkward because I don't have any music, but it just helps me get ready faster. And I have like five playlists on my phone. I have like a workout playlist. I have like a current faves playlist. Right now I'm just blending out around that color. Yeah, I have a current phase playlist. I have a gospel music playlist. I have, and they're very, very long, so I'm not sure if I can like name all the songs, but they usually just consist of, like my regular go-to playlist usually consists of just like hip hop and R&B, of course. I love ratchet music, but I also love R&B music. Um, now I'm just gonna be taking a brow bone color. Oh, that's another thing. He doesn't really have a like go-to brow bone color in this. Like uh, most of these are shimmer. It's one, two, three matte shades in the entire palette. These three are the only matte shades. All these other ones are shimmery. I'm just gonna be taking tempura, tempura, tempura on the end and then applying it to my brow bone. Um, to name a few artists, I like to listen to, of course, Future. I have a love-hate relationship with Future's music, but just because half the time, I don't know what he's saying. I honestly just feel like I like his music because he has like catchy songs and he has a really good producer. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, and of course, Drake. I've been liking Drake since like his mixtapes. Um, so I thought like Drake is like one of my favorite rappers. Um, I also like to listen to a lot of uh, Kalani. I listen to her a lot on Snapchat and people are always like, who, like who's that song by? And it's usually her. Cause she's just like the number one I go to when I listen to music. Um, so I like Kalani a lot. I also like Tink, but I'm like, well, girl, what are you doing? You need to make an album. Like, I love Tink. Like, she's one of my favorites too. Okay, I'll come back to the eyes. Now I'm just gonna um, go ahead and do concealer. So I'm just gonna be taking this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Um, I talked about this in the favorites as well. Um, and I'm gonna be uh, concealing and highlighting with this. And this is in the color 17 Nutty. Um, who else have I been listening to? Oh, I really like Z uh, Zara Larson. I like her as well. Uh, I like Yo Gotti, of course. Love Nicki Minaj, of course Rihanna, and Beyonce. By the way, her concert was amazing. If you've never seen Beyonce perform live, like, you, you have to. That's like something you should probably add to your bucket list. Cause she's like, not human. Like the way she moves around the stage and still able to control her voice is like crazy to me. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. And this blends out really nicely because you would think it's like too light, but it blends out really, really nicely. I'm telling you, if you have a hard time blending out your face makeup, you need to invest in a beauty blender. I remember when I used to use like the knockoff beauty blenders like it that you can find at like TJ Maxx and stuff. And they worked really, really well until I started using a beauty blender. And honestly, it just, it didn't like compare. Like the only one that comes close to this is the Real Techniques sponge, the orange one. That one is uh, actually really good. Probably should have like screenshot all the ones that I would answer. <laughs> Cause I uh, always forget how many people ask personal questions. I never understood that like people sometimes I feel like they forget that YouTubers are like regular normal people. Well, not normal, but like they're people too. And everybody doesn't want to like talk you know, talk about their personal business on social media. I feel like some people sometimes get a little too comfortable just because they see other people like 
like tell all their business and they expect everybody to do that and I think that's kind of unfair. Um, now I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to be baking, I'm just going to just set my under eyes because I haven't actually been baking lately just because I haven't felt like it. And I feel like this technique does the same thing as baking. So I'm just going to just act like I'm about to bake but I'm just going to keep patting the powder in the area until the powder basically melts into my skin. So if I were to bake I would just leave that like this but I'm not so I'm just going to keep blending like that. Just going to pat it in and I feel like this gives the same effect as um, baking. You don't have to just sit there and wait for the powder to sit. Me and Kendra were just talking about that today. People always ask about our real dad and that's just something that I'm not going to talk about on social media just because I feel like some things you shouldn't talk about on social media. I don't like to talk about it in real life so I definitely don't want to talk about it you know on social media. I feel like these days people just don't respect boundaries or privacy. I don't know I just think it's weird when you want to know. It's like I understand you want to get to know the person that you're watching but to get that personal it's just like I don't know I'm not about that really. Just because I feel like when you share too much sometimes people like use it against you afterwards or they try to um I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to be too overexposed on YouTube. Now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. Powder. <laughs> Sorry guys if you can hear the lens changing. It is on autofocus and I don't know how to get it to not make that noise. Autofocus is just a whole lot easier when I'm like moving around and talking so because sometimes when I edit back I'm like what is that noise and it's this lens it's kind of annoying. Um, so I want to ask are there any new TV shows that you're obsessed with? Not really any new TV shows but yeah not any new TV shows actually. The only TV show that's like newer that Kendra and I have watched is Fuller House on Netflix and it was like very a very short season. They are coming out with the season two which I am happy about but I thought it was pretty good I liked it I will watch season two but like my go-to shows are of course I'm pretty sure like everybody's like power empire oh by the way I'm applying bronzer this is the Guerlain terracotta bronzer in 08 of course like I just said I like to watch the voice and um dancing with the stars I love Chrisley knows best um it's freaking hilarious like Todd Chrisley is an absolute fool and I'm obsessed with that show. We just got sent these to us and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And these colors are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. They're so, so pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna use, Aunt, no. I think I'm gonna use Sunray, which is down here, and Hot Sand. Even though Amber Gold in the middle and Hot Sand look very, very similar. I feel like Amber Gold has a little bit more rose tones in it so I'm gonna let's just mix all three and I'm just using this Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 oh excuse me highlighter brush these are really pretty colors like if you have darker skin tone um, I feel like this palette suits darker skin um, other than this white color up here I don't know what this is <laughs> but the rest of these colors are like gorgeous if you have you know deeper skin tone and it's not like too light I like to do a little bit on the tip of my nose just because I feel like it looks pretty. Okay, there we go. Love this palette already. Now I'm just going to do underneath my eyes. And I'm going to take the same shades that I put like in my crease and then on my outer crease. Comment down below if you watch Jane the Virgin. I'm so obsessed. Kendra and I have probably watched it maybe three times like on Netflix because we've just been like anticipating the comeback of the show is hilarious. It's like the perfect happy medium between like funny and drama. So I'm like really excited for it to come back. I am sad that PLL is ending. The last season is going to be April 2017, I think. It's going to be very emotional for me because like I'm like obsessed with that show. So I'm just dragging Cypress Umber underneath that. I mean over top of that and I'm just using a smudge brush and this is from I think it's from crown brushes actually I'm taking that all the way in 
just because I'm gonna drag my eyeliner that far in as well because I kind of want to make this look a little more intense with the eyeliner. Um, someone asked, do I have any fitness slash weight loss tips? Um, not really weight loss because I'm not looking, I haven't been looking to lose any weight, but I do notice um, drinking a lot of water, lemon water. I drink lemon water like all day. Um, helps you go to the bathroom. And of course, when you drink a lot of water, you pee a lot. So you're flushing out all the toxins and bad things out of your body. So definitely drinking a lot of water and just eating clean overall. Cause I feel like um, it takes women a little longer to me to lose weight than men. I feel like men can lose weight so much faster than women. You definitely have to work out, but I always say abs are made in the kitchen. I do believe that. And I really feel like they are. They are made in the kitchen, meaning you need to eat healthy. You cannot outwork out you cannot outwork out a bad diet. I think that's the saying. And I do believe that. Like some people are like, oh, I'll work it off later. I'm like, no, it don't work like that. And I would say cut out dairy as well, which is like good for more than one thing. Like dairy can make you break out. And I also heard that like, like cow milk is not even meant for humans. You know how like women, when they get pregnant, they produce milk. The milk is for your child. So you're not even supposed to be drinking milk. And I haven't had milk in a very long time. Kendra and I only drink um, almond milk. By the way, I'm just applying this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner. Um, working out wise, do a lot of cardio because you are gonna shed pounds a lot faster by doing cardio. And now I'm gonna do liquid liner and I can't really talk while I do this. And by the way, the liquid liner that I'm gonna be using is this, um, the Balm Swing Black Liquid Liner. And the lashes that I'm gonna be applying are actually lashes that I like to stack. I mentioned both of these lashes in, I think the August favorites, and these are the Salon Perfect 615s um, stacked on top of the Ardell Glamour 113s. A few people were asking me to do a video on it, but these are not really customized lashes per se. I personally feel like customized lashes are just a regular strip lash, and you put those individual ones on it like in different places but this is just two lashes two strip lashes stacked on top of each other but i'm not gonna lie it is kind of hard to stack two pair of lashes and you have long nails so i've recently begun my nails a lot shorter just because i was like over the long nails for right now eventually i'll let them grow out just because like i do really like long nails and eventually i feel like when i get married and have kids i probably will like not get them long at all so i am gonna go back to long and enjoy them while i can Cause I feel like when you have kids, you can't really have nails that long. Me, I feel personally. I mean, no, like I don't want to offend anybody that does have long nails and you have kids, but I just feel like I can't wipe my child behind with long nails. I'm gonna have crap all under my nail. I just don't feel like it's, it's as safe. They're, I mean, they're not safe anyway. Cause I mean, I've had a few horror stories where my nail has um, has like broke all the way in the middle, and I was like bleeding everywhere. So it is kind of scary, but um, I just feel like I don't want to have them at all, like once I have kids, so. But for right now, I am liking the shorter nails because I forgot how much I can do with short nails. Your favorite makeup tricks and favorite scary movie? Well, I hate scary movies, so I don't have a favorite. <laughs> like, I've never liked scary movies in my life. Um, my favorite makeup trick, um, my favorite makeup trick Oh, recently it's been the, like what I just did with the translucent powder, basically melting it into the sponge and your skin. It's just a lot faster and it gives the same results as baking to me. Okay, now I have to put a color and my inner tear duct just to open up the eyes a little bit more and i'm going to be taking the color fifth avenue right here it's just like a really pretty like lighter gold color okay now i'm just going to finish off with the lips of course i'm going to be using um chestnut by mac and over top of that i'm going to be using anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick and this is a new color in the color allison so I hope I like how this looks on me because I haven't even tried.
tried it on my lips yet. I almost forgot to apply mascara. I'm talking about finishing off the look, but I'm not finished clearly. I'm just gonna be applying my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. Of course, I have all these products that I use linked down below so you guys can check out if you wanna try any of these. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat, get ready with me, and I'll see y'all next time.